So I was able to pick up my M1 iPad Pro last Saturday. I did a little unboxing video and now of course I'm using and testing it every day, working towards my full in-depth review, which I will post towards the end of this week. But I just had to bang out a little video about what has quickly become my favorite accessory for this new iPad. Let's ramble. Hold up, things go up when I pull up. They all on me like at once. Hey, what's up guys? It's great to see you all again. And if you're new here, I'm Patrick, and this is why I ramble about tech and other stuff. So I don't know about you guys, but whenever I buy something like this new iPad, the next thing I do is go on the hunt for some killer accessories that make using the iPad even more enjoyable. And let's be honest, this thing is an amazing device just like this, naked. So anything extra we can add on top is just gravy. And let's just get one thing out of the way first. The Magic Keyboard is obviously the number one must-have accessory, period. But to me, the Magic Keyboard has become such an essential part of the iPad Pro package that I'm not even going to count it as an accessory anymore. Now, what makes this iPad Pro new? There are four main things that make this iPad better than its predecessors. And we are talking about the 12.9 inch version today. So those things are, of course, the mini LED display, the significant increase in RAM. I mean, this bad boy has 16 gigs of RAM, which is just nuts. Of course, the amazing M1 chip. And last but definitely not least, it now has a Thunderbolt slash USB 4 port, which opens it up to a ton of possibilities. One of my favorite improvements with this port is that I can now hook up my super fast external Thunderbolt SSD drives to the iPad and enjoy the full read and write speeds. If you've been to this channel before, you know that I'm a huge advocate of buying only the internal storage you really need on your devices and do everything else on external storage. My absolute favorite is the LeSee Rugged SSD. This thing is an absolute beast. It is nice and compact. It is fully waterproof. You can literally drop it into a river, fish it out, and it will be totally fine. But most of all, it has insane read and write speeds of up to 2800 Mbps. That means that I can edit heavy 4K videos straight off this drive and LumaFusion, which is the number one video editing app on the iPad as it stands today, announced during the April Apple event that it's gonna launch this feature in the summer as well. By the way, I did two dedicated videos with some in-depth comparisons of several top-of-the-line SSD drives, let's say one comparing premium drives and one comparing super premium drives like this LeSee. If you're interested in those, I'll put a link in the description below the video. Downside of the LeSee is that it's very expensive, more expensive than most other drives. Well, you might think, what's the point then? I might as well shell out more for internal storage. And while that would be making a good point, that storage sits on your iPad and it can't be used anywhere else. And an external SSD can be used between all of your devices. So Thunderbolt drives are gonna be amazing to use with the new M1 iPads. But there's one issue. And that is of course that the iPad only has one port. And you would have to invest into a Thunderbolt hub if you wanna have more than just the one port while still being able to use the Thunderbolt drive at full speed. So then we're looking at something like the CalDigit TS3 Pro, which I've been using for a long time as the main hub for my 16 inch MacBook Pro. But if you take the price of the LeSee and add on the CalDigit, you're looking at a pretty hefty investment and the CalDigit is pretty heavy and not that portable. And that's where this thing comes in. This thing was sent to me a couple of weeks ago to try out and it's the Acasis Type-C docking station. And yes, that means it's not a Thunderbolt hub, but that doesn't matter, and we'll get to that in a second. So unlike the CalDigit, this thing is very, very small. As you can see, it fits in the palm of my hand, and it weighs only 145 grams. But because of this aluminum housing, it still feels really sturdy, and it has pretty much all the ports you could possibly need for your iPad Pro. So first of all, it has a 100 watts power delivery port, which is more than enough to give the iPad Pro a super fast charge. I think the iPad is even capped off at like 30 watts, but this port is important because it means you can keep your iPad juiced while using this as a dock. Then we have the Type-C connector, which we use to actually hook it up to the iPad. And on top, we have one more USB-C 3.1 port, which can pass speeds of up to 10 gigabits per second. 
a USB-A port with similar speeds, and a USB 3.0 port, which delivers up to 5 Gbps. But that's not all. We also have an SD card slot, as well as a micro SD card slot, which is of course very useful, especially if you're a creative and you use a bunch of these cards in all of your devices, like your cameras or your drones, and it can read data from both the SD card and the micro SD slot at the same time, which definitely speeds up the process. Also very interesting to a lot of people is this 3.5 millimeter audio jack since the iPad doesn't have one. I mean, of course you can use your Bluetooth buds, but they always have at least a little bit of a lag, which is not ideal for things like video editing. On the side, it has two more ports, one HDMI so you can hook up the iPad to your external monitor and the ethernet port if you need that really fast internet. But that is not what makes this thing so special. What makes this thing so awesome, and that is also the reason why I started this video by talking about external memory, is because if you pop off this lid, you get a slot for internal NVMe SSD cards. And those are often a lot cheaper than external SSD drives like the Lassie. Plus, they're swappable, so if your drive does reach capacity, you can just take it out and replace it with a new one and the Acasis supports up to eight terabyte storage. So if I just remove this pin and I stick in something like this Samsung Evo Plus one terabyte, let me just stick it in really quick, stick the pin back in to keep it in place, just close the lid. What we have now is a fully fledged USB-C hub and a one terabyte super fast SSD weighing less than 200 grams. Acasis are not sponsoring this video, but I did apply for their affiliate program, so if you like this thing as much as I do, and you use my link below the video to get one, it won't cost you anything extra, but I get a little kickback for the channel. Guys, if this video was useful to you, please give it one of these, it really does help the channel. I'll be doing a lot more videos around the iPad Pro in the coming days and weeks, so feel free to subscribe for more content. Thank you so much for watching, and see you in the next one.